Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an SAS shop with me. We're going to the outlet mall store. I'm actually gonna put you down here. I have a little like holder for my pop socket on my air vent and I am currently driving. So I was just at a stoplight. All right, don't judge me. But I did not have time to make the intro before I left. So you're getting the intro now, but basically we are headed over to the outlet mall. It is 737. The outlet is about 30 minutes away from me, but it always has the best stuff. So it's totally worth going to. So that's where I'm headed right now. I'm about to get on the freeway, but I will see you guys there. Well, we are here in the parking lot, but nobody's here. And I don't know if this entrance is open to the mall yet, so we're gonna go try it. And we might look stupid, but nobody's around to see us look stupid. So we're gonna go try this door. And if this doesn't work, I think wherever like the security office is for the like the people who patrol um, the mall, there's another entrance there. So we're gonna try this one though. It's entrance number seven and we're at Katie Mills Mall just for reference. We got in. Y'all, I feel so stupid. I went and opened the doors and they wouldn't open. So I drove around and then I came back and there was some guy coming unlock the doors, but he went right through the um, automatic doors. I didn't even try them. So I'm like 10 minutes late because of that. It's 8.18, but we're good. I see it, it's in my sights. We're going. All right, so we are walking through the empty and dark mall, but there is Bath and Body Works right next to the food court. And starting off, I just wanted to show you guys like an overview of the store. I basically, my thought process is I shop first and then I record for you guys. So I just came from leaving my bag at the register, but here are some $2 hand soaps, which like ugh, such a good deal, but most of them are out of season except for these um, in the faceted collection. Um, like the French lavender, those I think were early spring, but we have frosted coconut snowball, uh, fresh sparkling snow. We have Island Margarita, twisted peppermint. And I love this little sleigh all day Santa one with him stuck in the chimney. I think that's just so adorable. Um, they did also have some fall ones on the other side, pumpkin cupcake. Here's some more like actually summer ones. And then, um, some marshmallow fireside, Sorry if you can hear my boyfriend, he's gaming in the background. Anyways, $4.95. This is all like the newish stuff. This is all like the peak of summer stuff. Saltwater Breeze, uh, Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower, um, Copper Coconut Calypso, Bahama, or uh, what's that? Uh, I can't remember. And then they had the faceted on the back side, which they had so much of this. If you like those scents, just a pretty good deal. I think though that they have so much, it will go on 75% off if you wait. Um, the $3 section, Almond Blossom was actually not $3. So I don't know why they put it in this section, um, but good deal. And I was looking at the date. This was from 2021, so it's not old. Um, just maybe it was made for last SAS and they couldn't get rid of it. So same with Mad About You. It, I tried to show you guys, but it does have a one on it. And then we have Night Blooming Jasmine. So a lot of these are like online exclusive retired scents. Um, but most of the time, this outlet will have it year round. They had Wild Honeysuckle, some Bora Bora Citrus Surf from 2019. I did notice that, you guys. I was trying to show you the nine, but you can't really see it, but I saw it in stores. And then some Juniper Breeze and Whipped Rose Latte, which was also online. So they must have had a lot of that one in it. They didn't sell as much as they thought they would. Um, those plugins are actually half off. Most of the spring plugins are half off and $3.50 for all of the refills. I love this little truck. It's so cute. And then I'm trying to show you guys this little butterfly one at the very bottom. And I've never seen this one before. It was so gorgeous. It had gold, like 3D butterflies with little gemstones in the middle of them. I thought it was really gorgeous. Perfect for like a little girl's room or your bathroom because it lights up. I love the light up ones in my bathroom. In case you have to go to the potty like in the middle of the night, then your, your bathroom's not pitch black. So just the thought. But they did also have the uh, flamingo and the pineapple. And then this is my favorite part, $8 candles. You better bet. Now, I... I'm not sure why these are $8 and I've seen them at other stores and people's walkthroughs for 75% off. So I don't know what's going on here. I'm not necessarily mad because at least I had a coupon, but 
if they were 75% off, they would have been a lot cheaper. I think like they would have been like six something, 640, 650. But you know, it's whatever. Um, but they had so many different scents. They had a ton of this Hope collection, the Winter Peach Marshmallow. They had some Fall Pumpkin Apple. They have Fall on another, um, they have a whole other table of this uh, $8 candle section too. So this is mostly winter, winter candy apple. We have the Give Hope Peppermint Marshmallow. We had a few from that collection. Um, hot Cocoa and Cream. We had the, what is this? The Holiday Cheer. I know a lot of people like that one last year. Gingerbread, the Spice Gingerbread and Peppermint Sugar Cookie, which is so good. Oh, I couldn't read that one. That was too fast. Uh, Peace, Brown Sugar Latte, Cinnamon Sugared Pecans, which I was like, oh, it's the last one. Do I want it? Sniffed it and I was like, mm, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> they also had Ice Cranberry Scone. Um, Tis the Season. More Tis the Season in a different packaging down there. Um, more Peppermint Sugar Cookie. Just so many, so many candles. And then we get to 75% off body care. They actually had some 75% off candle holders. So that snowman is a single wick holder and they had more of those in this bin. And then they had the pineapple here, which is 34 originally. So 75% off. They had the bunny back there, which I think is a three wick holder. And they had some soap holders over here. I'm not the biggest fan of soap holders, but that's just me. They had some in this weekend and I did see this eucalyptus experiment bath soak. I thought that was really cool. I'd never seen that 75% off before. And then they had some of these antibacterial sprays, which I don't think people like that that much. Um, you'll have to let me know if you enjoy the sprays. I think they are sticky. That's just my opinion. They did have 75% off um, pocket backs. They had pastel skies. They had pink watermelon. I know some people have said that their stores don't have that yet. So that was actually pretty fun to find. And Gingham Heart of Gold. They had that at this store too. They had Love and Sunshine, another retired scent that they had here. White t-shirt, which, oh my God, I was so surprised to see. 75% um, off, but I guess it didn't sell that well. They honestly never had a huge stock of this, but... And look, guys, this one is like all gunky. That's the only bad thing about having these bins is that people open them and they leak in the bins. At least if they're on shelves, they don't won't leak as bad. But more $8 candles, you guys. We got um, berry waffle cone. We've got some leftover... Easter, we got pumpkin clove. Here's the fall stuff, okay? Pumpkin pecan waffles, ocean driftwood, pumpkin cupcake, white pumpkin. That was a strawberry pound cake down there. They had the mint chip shake. Crazy. I'm surprised they even had any left over. We've got a white pumpkin oak wood. Just a lot. I think these are mostly online exclusives of fall stuff. More white pumpkin, uh, caramel pumpkin swirl, and this beautiful collection. I love that one. So pretty. It's very sleek. Uh, white gardenia, watermelon lemonade, and then now we're back to 11.95 candles. I thought the Easter candles were supposed to be 75% off, but I don't know. I didn't. I didn't price check that one. And then sweet red mango is, I think, an online exclusive. So that was cool to see that here. And I've never seen this packaging before in my life. You guys will have to let me know if you remember this. Cinnamon spice vanilla. It smelled so delicious, and it's a really beautiful like wool scarf texture packaging i thought that was gorgeous so really pretty i think it should have been on the eight dollar candle table though because it looks like it was from last winter and maybe it is it does ring up for eight dollars and then they had this one also in that collection this is vanilla birch which i'm trying to show you guys what year it is yeah it's from 2021 so it's from last last winter i i want to say it was probably an online exclusive so that was cool to find. That's a good thing about the... Oh, and then that's the 2019 cinnamon, cinnamon Irish cream from 2019. Or 2020, sorry, 2020. So, cool thing about the outlet. You find a lot of random stuff that's like online exclusives or a couple years old that probably shouldn't be out anymore, but okay. Um, and then 11.95 candles. They had a ton of this stuff left over from spring. They had pink Prosecco frosting and it took everything in me not to get it. I would like to see that one go $8 or 75% off because... I still don't want to pay $11.95 for that thing. <laughs> and it's old. This is an old collection. It came out in January. Like, why are you still selling it for $11.95? But anyways, um, they had more pos Positively Sweet, which I would have gotten another, but not for $11.95. Maybe for 75% off for sure. And then I wanted to show you guys this new candle holder. I saw it online today, actually. It has a glass bottom. It's really gorgeous. I think it's super elegant. And then they did have that, like, tile collection. And Ice Lemon Pound Cake, which I also was really contemplating getting, but I did I did pass on it. 
And they had this collection also from early spring. They had a ton of the banana bundt cake left, which I know was a hit with you guys, with a lot of the audience. Um, they even had some wildberry jam donuts, so that was really cool to see. And then this newer collection, I haven't heard anyone talk about that. I don't. Let me know if you guys have tried any of those. I, I have. I don't really care about them. But yeah, we've got some more. This is like the wallpaper collection and then the blends collection. So now we're on to some $3 body care, which here's watermelon lemonade from 2020 probably. Sunshine Mimosa. We've got some fall. There's a fresh gardenia. Um, but we've got some fall, more fresh gardenia. I didn't realize those were the same scents. <laughs> and then we got a ton of white pumpkin and chai lotions and some sea salt and lavender, which is an online exclusive. So that was pretty cool to see. Got a few candles in here, which I guess are $3. That's a really good deal for some pumpkin candles. I'm really not into single wicks anymore though. Um, Golden Sunflower and Snowflakes and Cashmere. They had that in the moisturizing wash, which is really cool. Coconut Candy Apple, Hibiscus Paradise, Sunset Glow, Pumpkin Cupcake in the body cream, you guys. And I was showing you, this one looks super yellow for being from 2021. But yeah, there's all that stuff. Midnight Pomegranate, Confetti Daydream, which I'm still mesmerized by the packaging. I just love the holographic. And I showed you that because I was like, oh, this must be from Canada or something, which they do get a lot of stuff from different countries at the outlet. And then 50% off is a lot of men's body care. They only had this one sent out from this collection. I think just because they had so much overstock of non-seasonal products. So there's the coconut pineapple. Um, a few of these new ones, the Misty Mornings, some men's body care in fresh water and in clean horizon, I think is what that one is. Then I had to go around the bag, <laughs> the bag holder. And then this um, aromatherapy collection is also 50% off, which is not a bad deal, but it'll probably go 75%. And then more 75% off. Oh, sorry. That was $3. Um, Hope, Winter Beach Marshmallow, Twisted Peppermint, Vanilla Bean, No Smell, as Bonnie says. <laughs> Oh my god, so funny. Uh, winter Candy Apple, which if you guys get this every year, great time to get this because you'll just have it next year for next year and you won't have to wait until like the body care day sale or something, which is my thought process for candles, why I wanted to buy those $8 candles. So, and I was just putting that one back. But we do have the Iced Raspberry Bellini, which I didn't think they had much more of that one. So that's cool to see. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte in pretty much every form except for the body lotion. Snow Rides and Snug Snuggles, which I think Sleigh Rides and Snuggles was online exclusive. Honey Wildflower, which I was not expecting to see. And then uh, Cotton Candy Clouds, which uh, that's awesome. $2 holler, $2 holla, as Tina Marie says. Lots of hand creams, lots of minis left over from Christmas. I'm not interested in that, just have to say. Hibiscus Paradise, Snowflakes and Cashmere. We got a few Halloween goodies, some fall up there. I saw the pumpkins. This beautiful day, I was like, oh, this is old, right? It is actually. It is from, here, I, I get it to focus in a second. I think it's from 2019. If it focuses, there it is. Nine, 2019. Oop, that's old. Um, That's like three years old. Okay. Go Batty work. Go Bath and Bat. What? Bath and Body Works. Oh my God. I'm like, go Batty. Go Bath and Body Works. I can't even say it anymore. Okay. Sorry. We're having too much fun. Okay. Um, lots of the hand sanitizer sprays, which is why I'm like, I don't think these sell well. Champagne, apple, and honey from last fall, which um, might have copped. Might have. Um, and then some Pure Wonder um, room spray. 50% off. We have the Bake Shop collection, I think is what it's called. Bake Shop ton of the pear creme brulee ones which i know you guys loved a lot of people loved that one so good time to pick it up and i was looking at the date this is actually from this year they made it in 2022 so that's good to know had a random forever red right here lots of pretty as a peach some cute easter stuff i thought that was adorable fun fun not for 50 percent off but maybe for 75 and then a lot of 50 percent off pocket bags which really good deal if you need some pocket bags 50 percent and and lower all really good deals um, more praise of peach more pear creme brulee and then we go over to this side they had so much hand soap two dollar another rack of two dollar hand soap you've got to be kidding me they have the the summer one that i mean that came out a couple months ago so really good stuff they had gentle gel up there too if you guys are gentle gel fans a lot of 50% off hand soaps. This is all the summer stuff is 50% off. 
Also, sorry if you can hear my dog snoring next to me. She is conked out. But yeah, even the Pride hand soaps were 50% off. And I don't know if the Pride body care collection was 50% off. You guys will have to let me know if you found that out. But here's her ringing me up. You guys, I did something bad. I did something really bad. Outlet. Um, I got a lot of candles and I got a lot of body care. Oh my god. So, um, uh, stay tuned for the haul, I guess. You guys, the haulage is actually insane and I'm still like running on endorphins. I'm like shaking. I'm so excited for what I got. I'm also in the Chick fil A drive through about to eat breakfast. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Do you know what I just realized? I didn't see a single pink petal tea cake at the outlet. Oh my God. I also didn't see cinnamon sugar donut and I really wanted that body care. So I'm gonna have to get that at the next store because I didn't see a single pink petal tea cake. I didn't see that candle collection at all. I think because they had so much stuff, they had no room to put it out. <laughs> okay guys, we had Chick-fil-A breakfast. I actually went and stopped by my parents' house to eat breakfast. Um, and now I'm at the store that's near our house. It's the, mm, I don't know what this one's called, Green Tree Retail Shopping Center is the area that it's in. It's right next to a Target um, and like a Marshalls, a Five Below and a Randalls. So if you're in the Katy area, you know where that one is. I'm about to go in. I'm really looking for um, Halloween pedestals. And then I didn't get the cinnamon donut body care or the pink petal tea cake. So I'm looking for those and we'll see what we can find. So let's go ahead and head on in. All right, we are heading into the store and four ninety five body care, first thing that I saw when I walked in. Of course, you know, the summer collection, but we did have this one in a million, which I didn't see at the other store. So that's good to see a retired scent here that we didn't see at the outlet, which is kind of crazy. Um, I wonder if they share shipments or something because they're kind of close. I don't know. But yeah, more of this. I didn't even see the Flamingo, you guys. The Flamingo pocket bag holder was right there. I didn't even see that. It's probably 50% off or something. Oh, I missed out on that one. That's okay. Um, Saltwater Breeze. Some little lip oils and stuff. That was cool. I was picking up. They had like this little peach bellini one. The camera would not focus though. And Happy Easter, which I think should be either $2 or 75% off. So, And Pink Chiffon, of course. 50% off for this. I guess it's aromatherapy. I don't know. The little firecracker um, bags. That was cute. And then again, this aromatherapy collection is 50% off at this store too. They did have the new hand soaps, which I didn't have out at the other store. I think because they had so much back stock, like I said, of other hand soaps, like fall and stuff. So they did have all these new hand soaps. Nothing really stood out to me except for the cereal one. They had also these faceted hand soaps. Um, but yeah, a rainbow, rainbow cereal. That sounds really good. Sounds like Fruity, Peb Fruity Pebbles. Can I talk? Oh my God. Um, Fruity Cereal Crunch and a splash of milk. So that sounds good. I don't know about a splash of milk, but okay. And then some more hand soaps. They had tons of hand soaps, you guys. So many. I love stocking up during SAS on all my hand soaps because I it's just such a good deal. You really can't pass it up. And then more of those hand wipes, which I think is cool, especially if you have like little kids and stuff, you got to wipe them off after they get all dirty. You know, kids like to get dirty. 50% um, off this pretty new collection, Hibiscus Paradise. Uh, what's that pearl one? Gold Ocean Pearl and stuff. Uh, Buttercups and Berry Bellini. I feel like that's going to go 75% off. 75% um, off the fresh getaway, fresh getaway stuff. Um, they had the gentle or the moisturizing body wash firecracker pop firecracker pop can i talk is it said 50 percent off but i thought it should be more but i guess not it's not even fourth of july yet so i don't know but they did have that there and then more 495 more sunset glow they had so much here confetti daydream i see a little magnolia charm right there we'll come back to her in a minute um another forever red remember that was at the other store um yeah magnolia charm she's in the wrong spot actually we will see her later champagne toast i think that's sunshine mimosa uh waikiki beach coconut we'll go on to the front we have some minis right there again the one in a million so if that's your favorite scent they have it out again pink chiffon the island what's the island cotton i think country apple i've never tried it you guys will have to let me know if you like it i think it's a little too basic for my taste though i don't know uh, more 50% off soap. It's literally just all the summer collection, so nothing fancy there. 
we're walking past the pride collection you guys will have to let me know if that's on sale or not i didn't check i forgot but 50 percent off the like oh strawberry soda i really wanted to get that i might go back and get it later um they had that whole collection out which i didn't realize was not at the last store um summertime surf in this weekend happy vibes all of that was here had a little macaron one right there and the confetti sparkle which was also not at the other store which i didn't even think about it being there um it was not out they probably had it in the back and then more of this fruit collection pink watermelon blast more of the brunch that was the it's not bakery it's brunch collection okay 75 percent off let's go let's go let's go okay golden no sorry snowflakes and cashmere we had the peace iced raspberry bellini starlit night which i i can't read that but if you want to pause and read the notes you definitely can and then some of the men's in atlantic which i thought was cool we never get men's for 75 percent off and then looky here magnolia charm and pretty much every form except for the body cream but they also had the joy Snick sugared snickerdoodle and the what was the champagne one and then more winter candy apple and vanilla bean noel toasted peppermint and then okay so we're going on to candles now the wallpaper collection i'm not interested in any of these but i did want to point out that cactus blossom is back um i know a lot of people love it and i don't think it's been out since last year so this one is back if you enjoy that scent i know there's a lot of people who love it and then moving on to the other side we did have the blends collection which oh my gosh you guys Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake is a really good scent. Oh, it's like a heightened, elevated Strawberry Pound Cake. That was so yummy. And I didn't even know that they made these, but they have them in the Wallflower refills. So they have the Blends Collection, every single one of them in the Wallflower refills. I was like, mm, let me snatch that. Um, cinnamon, spi cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe, Champagne Toast and Fresh Orange, which I honestly didn't like it that much. It was okay. Um, the balsam and pineapple mango, uh, okay, I don't know who requested that scent, definitely wasn't me, and then the rose water and mahogany teakwood, which I also am not a fan of, the, they did have the Easter collection here, they also had the Black History Month collection, which I've never seen the Empowered one in stores, like, ever, so that was cool to see, might have been an online exclusive, that's why I hadn't seen it, but 50% off, here we go, fun fair. They had everything. Bubblegum pop. Let me tell you, it smelled so delicious. It smelled like hubba bubba bubblegum. Oh my god. It smelled so good. So if you like um super duper sugary sweet scents, you will love that. And then um the cinnamon donut swirl. They had that here too. It only comes in two forms, which I'm really sad about, but that's fine. Whatever. 50% uh, off on men's body care. I hope they'll do that 75% off later because it looks like nobody was buying that. Um, I have not tried Island, but they had a ton of it. Freshwater, Canyon, and then I did see Canyon in the cologne, which is always fun to find 50% off colognes. They had some Mother's Day candles over here. They did have some of that. I guess that's brunch collection. Some 50% off, um, what are these called? room sprays i always forget what they're called isla margarita um i think that's tiki beach back there so a lot of summer scents white t-shirt which i think would be good year round it's just like a laundry scent basically and hibiscus waterfalls okay moving on they had so many candle holders and they're only 50 percent off i feel like these might go to 75 because i don't think anyone's gonna buy all this but they're so cute i can't convince myself to get a, a spring or summer one but if they had a fall or winter one here i would definitely get it i was really on the hunt for the vampire pedestal from um last halloween but whatever uh 50 off some more hand soaps they didn't have these hand soaps at the last store it's like a very elevated collection it came with like the white t-shirt and fresh getaway um, more 50% off. They had all those candles. I did want to point out they had a few pocket backs over here too. The, um, what's the raspberry one and summer boardwalk. Some more candle holders were over here. And they did have these like really fun little, uh, car vent clips. So they had like succulents, cacti, pineapples, and little peace sign. So that was really fun. 
I think any of those could go year round except for the pineapple. But they also had some little single wigs. And I was trying to show you which ones they were. But I'm not a fan of any of those scents. So watermelon lemonade, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And then more of this candle collection. The mermaid was there. They did have the mermaid. And I mean, more of this candle collection. They had the pocket back holder, a little pineapple with her sunglasses. She was cute. She was very cute. They had the little single wicks. That pink pineapple sunrise does smell really good. Okay, guys, we are at store number three, and I think this is going to be the last stop because I've got a lot of bags and I don't need to shop anymore. Um, so we're not going to go to Galleria like I thought earlier, but this is the last stop, and this store has very little foot traffic, so I'm expecting some hidden gems, hopefully. So let's go ahead and head inside and see what we can find. Okay, so we're heading into the third store. This is also a standalone store. First off, 75% off. Let's get down to it. Again, the um, winter collection. Frosted Coconut Snowball, though, I hadn't seen at the other stores, so that was a good find. More Winter Candy Apple, Vanilla Bean Noel, Toasted Peppermint. Same old, same old on that stuff, so nothing new there. Sunshine Mimosa, Fresh Cut Lilacs. That was a good random one. There was a few more actually around. Pastel Skies again. And um, Fresh Coconut and Cotton, which I hadn't seen many of at other stores. More Starlit Night, which I thought was fun. Um, and then this Aromatherapy Collection. I did not know that they would have this. Tea Tree and Peppermint. And it's actually a scrubbing body wash, it said. I didn't even know there was that formula. I had no clue. Or exfoliating body wash, I think is what it's called. Again, the $4.95 table. We've already seen this. The Country Apple. Um, cotton. Whatever that cotton one was. Copper Coconut Sands is all the same. But that was the first moisturizing body wash I had seen in that collection. So that was a good find, potentially. But... More 50% off, they had the Fruity Collection. They did have a mermaid. I put her up um, on safer ground because she was about to fall off on that one. But yeah, strawberry soda, um, coconut pineapple, more strawberry soda. They had this in every form here. So that was really, really good to see. Cucumber melon. Um, and they did have the Fun Fair Collection in every different scent. Cinnamon, cinnamon, what swirl? Cinnamon sugar donut. Sh cinnamon donut swirl that's what it was um sun kissed which i did get the notes here for you guys if you need that also got the notes on um, happy vibes for you guys right here so you can pause to read those and then again summertime surf which we saw at the last store i think that that packaging is so simple but really pretty and then fresh coconut colada is back this year we have some little pocket backs for 50 percent off and then I did want to test a theory from Cynthia M. She was saying that all these are 50% off because they only have two ingredients in them. They have the almond, what is it? Almond and hyaluronic acid. So that's why they're all on sale because they're going to make a new formulation with three ingredients instead of just the two. So that's why you're seeing all those. Shea butter, sorry. Man, what a bust. That store had nothing good. They had a few aromatherapy leftover from Christmas that was like interesting, but nothing good. Okay, so that's all the stores. That's everything. I'm going to sit in the car and do the outro for you guys because I'm going to try and go home and record the haul for everything that I got at those two stores. I didn't pick up anything at this last store. Spoiler alert. But yeah, the outlet was popping. They had so much good stuff for a great price. The other store was actually also really good. Um, they had some of the new stuff that even the outlet hadn't put out yet just because I think they're trying to go through the back stock that they have from fall and Christmas before they put out the new stuff. And then this store had nothing, like literally nothing. They didn't have the new, they had the new body care, but they didn't have the new candles. They didn't have pink petal tea cake out. They didn't have anything spectacular, honestly, like a bust. They had a few things like those, um, aromatherapy Christmas things that were pretty hard to find. So that was cool, but like that was it. And there was a ton of people here, which I'm surprised. I mean, it is an hour after opening, but like I expected more. So kind of disappointed, but I'll probably come back to the store in a few weeks and see if they've gotten some new stuff. 
but yeah that's everything for the shop with me i hope you guys really enjoyed this that was so much fun i think this is my like my serotonin for the month and i just i love going to sas shopping it's so much fun so go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications um down below so you can be notified when i upload the haul i'll try to get it up tonight if i have time to edit it if not it'll go up on sunday but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below if you're doing sas this year if you're going in stores or only online online had some great stuff too they had great um candles on sale they were 11.95 fall and winter candles from last year so if you had a coupon then it made it a good price um made it like candle day prices almost actually so yeah let me know down below if you've picked anything up yet or if you have plans to go later just let me know down below i'm so curious but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you all in my next one bye